Hey, what's going on guys? This is Shipman here and today we are going to be taking a look at the DSM. Yes, that's right. We're going to be taking a look at the disk station manager, which is kind of a virtual desktop experience uh, for your NAS servers. Now, this is uh, actually available on the Synology NAS servers. I'm using the DS212J sent to me for review by the awesome folks at Synology. Thanks for that. And uh, let's take a look at it. So as we can see on the login page itself, you can customize it up to uh, quite a high potential. We can add your own image and uh, you can create accounts and stuff. You can also change the wallpaper if you want to uh, by uh, choosing from the templates available. I'm going to show that in a second now. Uh, well, first of all, I'll uh, take a look at the main desktop. Once we log in, it is really simple. We have a couple of options here. We have the main administration panel right here, and we have a bunch of icons here, which we can obviously add from the panel itself. So we have file browser, control panel, DSM help, and quick start. So take a look at the file browser first. Uh, the file browser is really simple compared to the Mac Finder or the Windows Explorer. As you can see, you can go ahead into NAS storage and uh, choose from the documents and music photos, torrent downloads, and other stuff as well. And we can also go ahead and choose our Mac hard drive and access that. So that is really kind of a nice feature, neat and clean if you want to. And uh, that is basically for the file browser itself, nothing you know, so fancy right there. And now the next thing that we are going to be taking a look at some of the features which actually excited me a lot compared that uh, that this is a budget friendly server available for all these features and that really helped it out. So the first thing that we are going to be taking a look at is the file sharing services. So we have the Windows file sharing with the Mac file service and also the NFS file service, which is really, really sweet. So uh, as we can see, we can uh, choose different kind of options. We can create users and groups. So uh, if you want to, you can also add privileges and other stuff. And that is uh, pretty much about uh, what we can do on here. Not, we are going to be taking a look at some of the boring features here. Mainly what we are going to be taking a look at here is how you can customize your login style. So as you can see, we have some of the templates to choose from. You can also align your image and other stuff. You can also add the HTTPS secure connection. So if you want to access it from somewhere else and you're not on a secure connection, you might want to you know kind of open this up and it would actually help out a lot. You can also add logs if you want to. Nothing no, much fancy. You can also add notifications by SMS or anything as such if you're using an SMS service as well. So uh, we can go ahead and choose that and it, it would be really simple. Again, we also have the power, you know, kind of for managing the options, which are really cool as, you know, uh, it actually occupies a lot less power compared to a computer. So if you are, you know, going to be downloading stuff over from the torrent files or any there like that, you might want to keep it aside because using an computer to do that and using this server that really helps out a lot saving much of the power so i prefer doing you know kind of downloading stuff on this rather than a computer we also have two usb ports on this device itself so we can connect printers hard drives and directly kind of uh, make uh, it available all over it uh, this also supports the air print technology so if you are connected through a printer it would go ahead and print uh, through your ipad iphone and other stuff as well Again, taking a look at the applications, main we have the media servers, you can stream music, videos and other stuff directly onto your PS3, Xbox and each and every kind of console that you want to, which is really sweet. Thumbs up for that. Again, this, this also supports the iTunes, you can go ahead and play music wherever you want through the AirPlay devices and uh, it would actually create iTunes shared library, which uh, you can add files and all that stuff. This also has the capability to uploading directly to Facebook and other stuff. So if you add a photo stream, you can go ahead and add photos through this and uh, they would be automatically uploaded to your albums on Facebook. The main thing that I loved about this NS server was the download station. You can access the download station really simply. You can go ahead into the administration panel as I went here and click on the download station. And here we are in the download station itself. So as we can see, we have different kind of downloads. Uh, you can go ahead and add. We can also search for, you know, kind of torrent files if you want to. And uh, put it right onto downloads. So the main reason downloading on this server is it, it would go right onto your hard drive. It would save a lot of power. And that is pretty much what we want from the technologies coming up ahead. And I think Synology did a very nice job, you know, making the server. Because uh, this actually makes very minimal noise i haven't you know kind of noticed any kind of noise from the server even while i'm processing time machine backups or anything as such and uh it actually takes a lot of less power so a thumbs up 
again to Synology on doing that and that is basically pretty much about what we have in on this the station manager or other things are like a gig you can go ahead and explore the option up yourself and uh, these are basic basically all the features that you get now the ds212j does come in a very short price range so you can go ahead and try that out as well i'll have a link to the product in the description below i'll have a ton of videos showing you the ipad and the iphone apps and other technologies you know kind of streaming directly to the xbox 360 and other videos as well so stay tuned to the channel if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe link above this video and if you like this video go ahead and share this video it would really help me out a lot and and uh, let more people find out about this and again if you are feeling more awesome so go ahead and click on the like button below and give me a thumbs up as well so that's pretty much about the video guys you can always follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash tripamist and facebook.com slash tripamist you can also visit my website at tripamist.com and thanks for watching guys again like the video comment below if you have any and until next time i'll see you guys later have a nice day peace